Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts, Del Puckett here and in this video here we are going to kill many 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 birds with one video. So first off I want to do some unboxing, some shout outs and then I want to get you up to speed, get you caught up with some of the projects I got going on around here. So um, so right off the bat, so I, I'm living kind of hmm, semi off grid way out in the boonies and I do have a post office box. And I don't check the post office box that often. So, but when I do, but when I do, I am pleased and surprised to find presents. Yay. So I go, a buddy of mine, Dwayne, sent me this care package. And in the care package, it's a router bit. And um, yeah, so this is going to help make the rounding of the back of the cigar box guitar necks, AKE, AKA this part right here, a lot easier with this thing here. Just kind of round them off. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. Dwayne, seriously, thank you so much. Sorry for the delay. Sorry it took me so long to check my post office box. It's probably sitting in there for weeks, who knows? Uh, but I do definitely, definitely uh, appreciate it very much. Very thoughtful of you. And um, I'll be definitely putting this to good use, putting it through the paces, so to speak. Next up, a gentleman by the name of James Duckett. Get it? Duckett? Duckett. Kind of reminds me of Puckett. Kind of reminds me of, you know what I'm thinking. All right, well, I know what these are because I went to his website and I looked. And um, well, I did I did want to mention here, I'm gonna cover 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 the addresses so you don't so I don't get anybody in trouble. But look at that logo up here on the top. See if you can see that. This is international from across the pond. From across the pond. Internationally tracked. Yep. It's got the logo there, whatever for international trackage. Okay, so, like I said, I do know what's in here. And, ah, dull knife. Oh, I got an idea. I can use my sharp knife. That I got from another buddy of mine, Linguists, up in the UK, up in Canada. Sharp, baby. Dean and Brad. And then, of course, at the end of the video, I'll do a little jam. A little jam, jam. Oh, yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll I will uh, test drive one of the guitars I finished up two nights ago. All right, so these are... This looks like a box... I'm not even sure how to open the box. Okay, we'll have to figure out how to open the box here. Uh-oh. Who knows what these things are? They look like little cars. I'm sure they're more important than that. Let me uh, let me open open everything up here and figure it out. <laughs> I'm thinking I know what this is. Yeah, but it's probably a box for a box. This is probably the beginnings of a cigar box ish style guitar. Oh yeah, it's got this thing here. It's probably probably a diddly bow style for that if that circle is what I think it is. Okay, cool. Yep. Front and back. Probably a template for to cut some wood out to match this thing here for the top. But isn't that awesome? Okay, so this is this is I'm guessing a pen. 
but I don't know how to open the box. And I don't want to ruin it, and I don't want to waste your time while I try to figure this out. I'll give it one second here. Second sliding it? Nope. Dang it. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, I popped it open. That's a nice little box there, isn't it? But check this out. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. That, my friend, is a work of art. And it works. Okay, yeah. Dude, I'm gonna have to use this for special occasions like signing birthday cards and checks. All right. Uh, reading glasses. Hey, Dell. Find and close one of my favorite pens as a gift, complete with spare refill. The pen itself is the twist mechanism, so to change the refill, you simply pull the back off of the pen, unscrew the refill that's in the pop, and pop the new one in. They should last some time. They're Swiss engineered with tungsten carbide tips to last, so they and they come from a company with a solid reputation. The pen has multiple layers of friction polish on it. I don't believe using CA as a finish Personally, I don't believe in using CA as a finish, personally, as I like to be able to actually touch the wood. So as the pen wears, some micro crystalline wax and a good buff every now and then should keep her in top condition for you. Uh, the box is only friction fitted together, okay, so it can be stripped down and personalized. You'll find a tab on the top of one end that'll help you get the lid off. They're engineered to be snug, but still openable. See, I figured it out without even having to read the directions. The other item in clothes, I'm sure you can figure out. Ha ha ha, I figured it out. Uh, I made my eight-year-old daughter a diddly bow about 12 months back using this pattern. Okay, cool. I seem to redesign the box I need to redesign the box a little more snugger, uh, but I'm quite happy with it overall. I'm thinking of adding these to the store with the lid completely custom customizable for buyers. Give me an image and or, and, and or a text and I'll burn it, I'll burn on kind of thing and, it, and I'll burn it on kind of thing. It's not strictly for children. I mean, anyone can add a pickup, etc to make it more complete instrument. But I think it's an interesting design and an interesting combination of materials. I hope you like it. Kaloon Du V, I don't know. Okay, pronounced more or less as Colin V, but it's D-D-U. Uh, by the way, it's Welch for Blackheart. The name stuck after I made my daughter her own Drew Estate Acoustic CVG and burned a little heart into it for her. Best wishes and thanks again for the channel. Jim Duckett. Jim Duckett, if you replace that T, that D with a P, dude, you could be my brother from another mother. Dude, thank you so much for the gifts. Like I said, yeah, yeah. I will definitely, I will definitely do, do my, do, hope, hope to do, do you right by doing my best. All right, which leads me to my next box, which is the, Goodies from cbgoodie.com. All right, so so I like I, like I mentioned before, I've got a lot of projects that are in limbo, and each one of them is worked up to a certain point, and then I had to stop because I didn't have the parts. So I went online to cbgoodie. That's thunder. See, I mentioned cbgoodie, and you hear the thunder in the background. And the best way to open this is safely. Don't cut your finger. And I know you're not supposed to be cutting toward you because if it slips, you can cut your heart out. It's best to cut away from you. Like that. Gosh, these boxes are 
were designed to not come apart. Dang it. All right, never mind. I'm going to cut it over here. Strings. That thing's heavier than a bag of gold. More strings. And those are the 12 packs. And guys, this is my freebie. They send you a freebie. You spend over $100 or something. And you guys know it's easier. To, it's easy. Oh, they got perfect, perfect side lane. I didn't have to adjust. I don't even have to adjust the little Velcro in the back. Okay, let's see here. That's it. So I ordered a ton of stuff. Uh, let's see here. Knife, camera, action. Yep. This is what I need. T tunas. I didn't say tuna, I said tuna. Pickups. All right, so we got, um, these are, these are the uh, economy tuners. Let's see here if I can get it to, there you go. Economy. And I got all sorts of pickups. This one here is a humbucker. And I know it's, the lighting is such that, the back lighting is such that makes it pretty near impossible to, to see. Okay, I got some upgraded tuners, some jacks. More economy tuners. Ooh. All right, you guys know what this is, right here. This is here. Let me get. Let me get. Change the light here so you can actually see this nonsense here. Psycho knob. And this is the dis distortion circuit where you get turn turn it on and get louder and louder and louder. Single coil pickup. And I go for these long shaft jacks. That way you can get through thick sidewalls. They're a little more expensive. The Switchcraft is the more expensive ones here. But in the long run, I'm, I'm happier with these. They just seem to work better and make everyone's life easier. You can never have enough economy tuners. So I bought extras. Uh, black humbucker. Chrome, chrome dual blade. Okay, I'm sorry, blade humbucker. Oh my gosh, this one's probably going to scream. Um, I have no idea what this is. Oh yeah, this is a black covered four pole single coil. Again, I have um, an affiliate link. I will put that in the video description below. And you can order parts from CB Giddy, and it will support my channel. And you can also get a 10% discount off of everything. This one here is just a switch. A Les Paul style switch. Gibson style switch. It's like click, click, click. It's a three-way switch. Three-way. Next box. All right, take a guess. You guessed it, more economy tuners. They don't say economy tuners. I, I call them economy tuners because they're they're pretty cheap. I forget the exact price, but uh, they're affordable. Let's see here. Ooh, yeah, here's a harness. This one here is a pre-wire six string single coil pickup harness. And you can obviously use these for a cigar box guitar. A cream soap bar single coil pickup. Um, a black covered four pole single pole single coil pickup. More of the upgraded tuners. Um, 
black soap bar. Black covered four pole, single pole pickup. All right, so these are the ones that I distress and make them look like um, ugly. Ooh, look at that guy. Same thing, this is a pre-wire kit. And I built a few with this before. Uh, again, just the pre-wire, the pre everything's all soldered up and it comes with the volume controls and the jack. I mean, it makes for a real easy installation. More economy tuners, more switches. Uh, more pickups, more economy tuners. Another psycho. I like saying that, psycho. More of the long shaft switchcrafts. Economy and upgrade tuners. That's it. All right, so I got a pile, a plethora of stuff. Now I got to put it all away, sort it all out, write down my list so I know exactly where everything's at. So I don't forget where it's at. Um, okay, um, before I show you all my goodies, I mean, my uh, the stuff I'm working on. I did want to do a little explanation on this guy here because there was a little bit of confusion. I, I said that these harmonics are divide bys, and of course, if you look at here, you can see that it looks like a little fraction. And so the confusion was was like, well, that's not the right divide by, because I said divide by four, divide by five, and um. It doesn't, doesn't equate. So for example, for example, from, this is the, tw this is the 12th fret. I'm sorry, this, this one here would be the 12th fret. So that would be divide by two. Well, that's not divide by two, right? That's one half or two over one. That's not divide by two. Um, but it's divide by two and it's the first position. So if we come down here to the, this here is going to be the, the fifth, which is the seventh fret, and that's divided by three. Well, that little two underneath it just means it's the second division. So if I divide by three, I've got one here, two, and then three to the saddle. So this is the second position. Up from the saddle, you get one and two. It's the second spot of the divide by three. So if we go to the divide by four, which is the fifth fret, then this is the third spot. See how it says four over three? So it's divided by four, but it's the third spot. So divide by four, you're gonna have one, two, three, four. So this is the third spot of the divide by four. Here's the divide by five. Well, it says five over four. So that means it's divided by five and it's the fourth spot. So here's the first one, right? Well, actually it would come from this. It'd be one, two, three, four, five. So this is divided by four. It's the fifth position. So forth and so forth. Um, this one here is the minor third, which is divided by six. And it says six over five, which means it's the fifth of the six divisions. So if there's six divisions, you're going to have... One, two, three, four, five, five, six. So anyhow, so that's the explanation of those fractions that are, this is just the way this, this template came and so we had to figure it out. So anyhow, I hope that helps you understanding that. Now, I wanted to show you, kind of get you up, up to speed. Um, gosh, I got a ton, ton of stuff, a ton of stuff. I've been using these, or I, I found these Wild Hunter camo boxes and I got these rings these are the rings for shower curtains or I'm not after I'm not sure if they're shower, shower may, yeah, they probably are shower curtain rings and uh, I disassembled them and spray painted them black and then cut the hole and glued them in so I have one two three they come they come like this silver but I spray painted them black so I got three of these guys they also come with these neat little nifty little samplers. 
this will be the neck for one of them. Um, if, you, if you notice in here, they got some, some oak leaves in there. Some oak leaves, there's an oak leaf there. So I figured I'll use some oak wood. So we got oak wood with a scarf and then went with a walnut fretboard to be nice and dark. And then the part that I cut off here, I made for the wings on the side there. So this neck is going to be paired with one of these boxes. And this is going to be, trust me, it's going to be a nice, really nice. I'm going to use upgraded pickups, upgraded tuners, um, upgraded everything. So stay tuned for this guy. I'm doing this all in one take here. So I'm going to have to run off camera, grab this other guy, come right back. So don't go anywhere. Here's the next one. This one, I'm going to call this one the blueberry. Or maybe the bluesberry. So it's in one of these uh, Olivia boxes. And I have all, all the stuff that comes inside the box here. This is the little ribbon and this is the uh, pamphlet. Oliva. I said Olivia, huh? Oliva. Um, but anyhow, I got carried away with the, with the... I'd use three different colors of paint and some blue stain. So I kind of got like a little sunburst or tobacco, not a tobacco, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, burst. The blue burst. There you go. And this is a Home Depot fretboard with the blues fret fret spacing. Uh, Pentatonic Plus, so to speak. Yeah, so I can just tell by looking at this that this is going to be sweet. That's the other thing I got going on. So those, those are two. One I finished last night, and that's here. Still got the strings on it. So this is the, I call it the pentatonic plus fret spacing which is essentially the blue scale with an extra fret here. This would, this would be the second fret. So it goes the second fret, third fret, five, six, seven, 10, 12. And then it repeats up here, except for I don't have the second fret. So this would, there would be a 14th fret here, but there's not. So that's the only thing I left out. And the reason why I left it out was for a number of reasons. Um, the reason, the main reason is because I wanted to get this jump from here. When I slide up. And the reason why I have it down here is so I can go. Let's tune this bad boy up. One, one, one way to get it in tune is to do the harmonic at the 7th fret, harmonic at the 12th fret, middle string. Then tune it for flat. And then do the harmonic middle string, 5th, harmonic 7th fret, high string. do this chord here as the turnaround for my blues progressions so that's why i really like this here it's, it's basically a one trick pony but the trick is awesome every note is going to sound right And that's just a double pull off to an open. Double pull off open. Uh, 
real quick I'll plug this thing in and then I'll let you guys get on with your lives yeah. okay the batteries are about dead in this thing here and I need to put in new batteries so if it fizzles and pops and farts just know that it's the amp and not not the guitar So all the settings on the amp are straight up. Can you see that? Straight, straight up. And I will be kind and do y'all a favor so you don't have to hear, hear all that racket. Cut these guys off. Can you hear the thunder? So on the back side here, we're on the piezo. And I'm gonna give it some reverb. So you can hear, hear the reverb. Distressed um, single coil. This here is a Macanudo box and it's nice and shiny. I do have the Home Depot fretboard. I've uh, been dark stained and sanded and dark stained and sanded. I do have the economy tuners on here. Of course the hook. And um, I still need to stain the saddle. 
But I opted to come out the back here and I got one of these shutter hinges from the Ace. And these things are really affordable. I should do this more often. I should, I should, I should. And then of course, just uh, blocks in the four corners and screws to hold it in. So it's a real standard, simple box. <laughs> Whenever I do a tremolo, I try to like play to the beat of the tremolo. Right, guys this video has been long enough don't forget you can go to cbgiddy.com order all your parts use my promo code for a discount if you order enough parts you get one of these bonus freebie um trucker hats that's what they're called trucker hats uh thanks guys for all the gifts and uh, like i said i i really so I, I really do appreciate that guys i appreciate all you guys do and uh i like making these videos for y'all so sure to like comment share subscribe uh hit the notification bell all that good stuff you know the drill all right guys we will see you in the next video cheers